All right, so my last uh, drone video, I was using this piece of garbage, which it actually started kind of working towards the end until the battery swelled up and went bad on me. Uh, so uh, instead of this, I've decided to go with this, which is, it's not the next cheapest one, but after doing some research, it looks like it's the, the, the best affordable value. It's about $32, I think. And uh, just right out of the box, it's already a major improvement over the other one. Uh, first, the big differences are uh, the propeller size is major. They're a lot bigger. The propeller guards were separate. I, there was assembly required there. But it came with the screwdriver to attach everything. It also came with landing gear, which the other one did not. Uh, it's... The controller is almost identical, so uh, yeah, I don't I don't know about that, but it's all it's almost identical. It's got a different brand name on it. It's got a different colors. It's got more chrome on it. Oh, you know what? It's got extra buttons. This the other one did not have these. Oh, you know what? Those aren't even real buttons. I was gonna say the other one didn't have these buttons right here, but this one doesn't have those buttons there either. Those are fake buttons. Let me get that into the light. There you go. There's like a D-pad kind of right there. Those are not real buttons. They don't do anything. Uh, it also came with a, a flash drive or a flash a USB adapter for the SD card. Extra propellers, which are a lot higher quality than the other ones. Uh, the controller had these little square foam things on it to protect it. Um, it looks like it's the same exact camera. Uh, the biggest difference, uh, well, also, this one's also got a switch, so you can turn it off and on. The other one did not. And this one, the battery also actually fits inside of it, so... The other one, I couldn't get the battery in it. This one, the battery fits right in there. And it, you know, it looks good. So... Uh, I've already been messing around with it a little bit, so... I'm gonna try to get it, get a test flight for you to see how it looks. Unfortunately, you know, just like the last time I got home too late and it's too dark to be outside doing it So I'm gonna fly it in my hallway there for a minute And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes All right, this is right out of the box. I have not uh, let me just, uh, All right, this is right out of the box. I have not charged the battery yet Switch works lights up I'm going to assume it sinks the same way. Yep, sure does. Go ahead and start the camera. I don't, can't tell if it's recording or not, but anyway. Oh. Ah, I can rotate this one. The other one couldn't really rotate. And it hovers a little bit. It's definitely an improvement. It flies better. I don't know how much of that you could see. I was actually able to successfully land it there. I can rotate it. The other one I wouldn't wasn't really able to rotate it. Oh, oops. Uh, that was my fault. The other one I crashed on its own. This one, that was my fault. Okay. Trying to get it to hover, but there we go. It's very hard to get it to hover. And I've got to adjust the trim on it before I can really get it to hover. But... Yeah, it's stuck. It's already 100% better quality than the other one.
oops, I wasn't paying attention there and it crashed into my rod rack. You know what, let's give it a shot outside. You probably can't see it, but maybe you can see the lights. does hover pretty well it's actually compensating itself in the wind okay so the battery is actually holding up a charge so far considering I just pulled it out of the box that's pretty cool the wind is kind of affecting it a little bit Well, I guess that kind of counts like a landing. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to gauge because the wind is blowing it around. It's a little too windy out here for it to hover right. All right. Well, I just I decided to wait till the morning and try it again. And uh, it flew a little bit better because it's not windy today. Uh, but there's still no way to differentiate whether or not you're taking a photo or video. So. I don't know what it was doing. Whenever I would press the button, it's either a photo or a video. It took, I pressed it a couple of times, it ended up taking four photos and one video. And the four photos, they're pretty clear. Actually, the video itself is even pretty clear. But for some reason, it, like I use uh, Sony Vegas to edit my videos, and it won't transfer the video file to Sony Vegas. It's like, it's, it's incompatible. It's an AVI file, so it should work, but it doesn't. But anyway, here's, uh, you'll see the photos. I'm going to, I added those in already. I'm going to show those right after this a little slideshow of how they look, which they're really not, they're not the worst photos I've seen from a camera that I've reviewed on this channel, but still, I mean, they're not, they're not great. They're better than the other drone. But, you know, for some reason, I just, I can't... The other drone, I could put the video files into Vegas. And they were AVI files, too. It was pretty much, it's the same camera, really. But this one won't let me do it. Yeah, I hit the tree, but I don't know. Yeah, that's it for that video. For whatever reason, it won't transfer to to uh, Vegas, so I don't know what's going on with that. I need to convert it or something. But yeah, that's uh, that's the biggest problem with the drone so far. Uh, all the crashing and stuff. This time it's my fault because I'm not experienced with drones. The other one, it would just crash as soon as you took off the ground. So. Uh, this one's, if you're going to buy a drone to begin with, to start with and train with, this this is probably a decent one to go with. I'm, I'm already kind of starting to get the hang of it. I'm going to go play with it some more, but uh, I think I'm done with the video for now. I'm going to try to figure out how to shoot video and how to shoot photo because I don't like how it is. It just, you, it's the same button for photo or video and you don't know what it's going to do. You press the button. And you're probably going to take a photo. There's no way to differentiate whether it's photo or video. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out the links below.